I just feel it right now. This is gonna be so awesome. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, this, the series that we're gonna do with this, this is gonna be great. Because I mean, you're, I suppose that besides learning, which you probably are, uh, you're having fun. Yeah. I like loading game. <laughs> I like the uh, the dino walking. <laughs> I tell okay. you, I have to like I have trained like a lot of people, and every time I do it, it's it's like always fun. Yeah. All right, pick the cool guy. <laughs> the cool guy, and who's that? I don't know his name, but. <laughs> the um, I'll see now. I'll, I'll see now when. Oh, the, <laughs> the carpenter. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just look at him and his mustache. Oh, oh, you're, you think you can taunt me? <laughs> it's like no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Taunting war. Your objective is to identify other players, acquire them as targets. Okay, now let's go with the. Uh, they detect and kill The you. other part of these guys. What I said. What I said before, it applies specifically to these guys. Like what what I told you before about focusing your target or your pursuer while, while using these guys just to make the maximum use of it. Uh, that's for for that to work, you need to have these guys. All right, <laughs> that's a decoy. Um, but the thing is that there there is also something else that it matter it matters for these guys, but it matters for general gameplay, and that is mimicking. Mimicking a NPCs, and that's what, what we're gonna do now. All right. Okay. I'm up for it. Okay. So first of all, is the I am looking behind my back thing about players. Both players and NPCs do this, but if you know a person is a player and you see them do this, you can certainly know what what is crossing through their minds, and that is when they look back. So, for example, look at me. Look at me. I'm gonna... Okay, let, give me a sec. Yeah. Like, if, if you have your camera and you're looking uh, in front of you, and all of a sudden you just tur turn it around, you will see that your character, it kind of makes like a gesture with the head. Yeah. It, it looks behind its back, right? So this, yeah. this is more useful than you think. Because you can know, after you see this, you can know what is crossing through your target's mind. And you can know how, how oblivious they are to the fact that you are close to them. Because, for example, sometimes you are approaching them from the front. And you see that they turn around their, their head. You know, they think... Th at, at that moment, you know that they think that you are behind them. So they're not looking at you. And you can be as stealthy as you want. You can just walk up to them and get a nice kill. And you don't have to use any, ab any abilities at all. Whereas, on the other hand... If you are behind them and they are walking and all of a sudden you see that they look they look behind you know that they have seen you like if you were obvious they saw you they completely saw you you know mm. so basically this this little trick it greatly decides your course of action like what are you going to do are you are you going to use an ability are you going are you going to go for a naked kill you're not gonna do anything or ju just go for a plain kill yeah, that's like the kind of decisions that you have to make on the fly as you see that your target or your pursuer behaves in one way or the other. And yeah, that's one that that's one nice trick. Okay, the second thing is uh, NPC walking. When when the NPCs are walking and let's have an example here. Uh, okay, follow me and this lady Maverick. Okay, so uh, I want you to look at her from the front, so come here where, where I am. Okay, so look at, at the Lady Maverick all the time. Just don't take your eyes off her. You're gonna, right. see, you're gonna see that... Yeah, I know, you, you really didn't want to take your eyes off her anyway, did you? <laughs> 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 the game's not that realistic in graphics, but they did alright. They did alright. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, well, just look at her and you'll see that as, as she walks, she's like making all sorts of facial expressions. She's like looking to the sides and she's, I don't know, uh, she kind of brushes her hair. She, uh, she's, 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, she just cracked her hands right there. Yeah, she she cracked her knuckles. That kind of those animations only NPCs can do them. Like a player cannot do that. If you watch yourself right now, or if you watch me, and we walk as long as we want, I am never gonna do any of those. I can, I can. That's a good point. Yeah, I never even thought of that. So yeah, I can, I can never do that. Uh, so when when you see, uh, oh yeah, okay, you can do it, but the only way you can do it, and as you just did, is if you go into a blend group. Like if you're hiding in a in a group. Uh, that your character will, will automatically do those animations. So that's one great advantage about being hidden. Like, I I I if you're hidden in a group, y you are less likely to be detected by a, by a smart player, a player that knows this. Because, it, it, for example, me, I am always looking for this. As soon as I see some, some persona that is coming close to me, and I see that they make uh, an expression, I immediately discard that person. I said, ah, like, nah, no, that's an NPC. And I keep looking for my pursuer. In instead of making some common mistakes that people just, oh, yeah, that's that's my pursuer. Let's just let's tr try, to, try to stun him. And guess what? You completely mess up. <laughs> because and you get lured. Yeah, you, you, you get either lured or you just, yeah, you know, you kill an, an NPC and get vulnerable for about six seconds. I think that that's what, like one of the greatest changes that uh, Ubisoft Abstergo did to the to, to Assassin's Creed 3 that you're actually when you make a mistake you're punished you you, you pay for it you know it's yeah not not like before like before okay you kill an NPC and the other guy got a lure which is a hundred points a hundred points which is worthless because it is not like a stun a stun gives you two hundred points and it counts for your streak. At true. At, yeah, at least in Revelations. But in Revelations, yeah. alert, alert it, it was worthless. So abilities such as decoy, disguise itself, uh, more... Like every ability that is based on deception, it was kind of worthless to some extent because you, you couldn't make as many points with those abilities as you could with other abilities. They, they work, you, you know, they still work to some extent, but they were like not nearly as good as they are here. <clears throat> okay, so now now you know about these NPC uh, behaviors that that they make those. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I I don't know who you are. That's uh, a good that's a good uh, disguise then, right? <laughs> let let me see. You are oh yeah, you are the Maverick. Yeah, that was a great disguise. I I, didn't, ah. <laughs> I I picked you out using the line of sight, but yeah, I just stood here and, and made a line of sight with that. But that was great. Like when I when I ran in, I was like, oh, where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, sometimes you just have to seize the, the opportunity. Like if you know it's a good player and you know that they they hesitate they hesitated and they don't know who you are. You, you just have to get the stun, you know? You, you don't go for, for a focus or anything like that because if, if it's a player that knows what they're doing, they're gonna immediately try to line of sight or something, you know, to pick you out. Yeah. So, you, you wanna, like, just get the stun in those cases. You know, there's, like, a million, a million variables involved in gaming and Assassin's Creed. But, you know, y you get used with practice and... Especially now that we're training, you, you get used with time, you know? Yeah, okay, tough guy. Get over here. <laughs> um, okay, so... Yeah, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Stop, stop. Uh, okay, so another thing you wanna you wanna know is that besides the, um, the expressions, there is also the way that NPCs walk. NPCs, they do not walk in a continuous path. They always, they kind of stop after walking a while. So, for example, if you see a player, what? Uh, stay there, stay there, st stay where you are, stay where you are. Okay, so imagine that you see me, right? So, if you see, if you see that I walk to you like this, like you see, I'm just continuously walking towards you, right? Yeah. Okay, NPCs rarely have fixed, uh, you know, like they they don't do a straight lines. They they don't do a straight lines. They rarely do a straight lines. 
if you say if you see all the NPCs around us, they're, they're always like doing curves of some sort. And also they don't walk like continuously. They, they tend to to stop every now and then. They, they, they kind of pause like while they're walking. So you want to you want to learn to do that to to fake it out and make people think that you're an NPC. For example, uh, look at me now. Uh, stay there, stay there where you are. Okay, instead of walking like I walked before, you want to walk like this. Did you see the way I just walked? Yeah, no, that was pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, you know, like... You see that quite often, yeah. Yeah, because the NPCs walk like that. Okay, look at this. This is a copy of me, right here. Like, look at it. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he paused. I, I could tell which one's, which one's you, actually. Like, okay. Yeah, that's Wait, the idea. Could... Like, you, you walk and you make slight pauses. And that's more NPC like. Also, after you learn you like the second. the trajectory that most NPCs have, uh, you're gonna be a lot better at using these guys and at being a pursuer undetected most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, we finished chapter four of our training. <laughs> We're moving along. Nice.